You've had all the bacon. Well, you've got more, haven't you? You know, this being a farm. See any pigs? Peasant company apart. <laughs> Shots fired. That's you, that is. Well, Marlon's fondue wasn't exactly filling. I couldn't believe he didn't even get normal bread for the butties. Sourdough? Even names sound revolting. Hope we didn't wake you last night. Lads were up for it, so I didn't want to drag them back. Uh, no, OK, it's fine. Um, I need to pick the kids up from Lydia's, so, uh, and then I'll clear up after you lot. If you want something doing. No, don't, just... Hey, you could have come last night, Mum. The club was more your area, to be honest. I've got Wonderworld stuck in my head. <sighs> no wonder she's chosen quite a night. Yeah, but that kebab, though, was banging. Best fan in Yorkshire, apparently. It's Greasy Nigel, absolute legend. I've had some of my most formative experiences in that lay-by. I got off with a lollipop lady once. Yeah. Absolutely. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. Spare us the details. Might have feeling a bit delicate. Hey, lad? <laughs> Didn't know it could be such a laugh. <laughs> well, at the moment, we're just trying to consolidate our assets. We use this chance to regroup. Is Jake going to reopen the factory? I mean, that's what everyone wants to know. I suppose it depends on what happens with the insurance. <sighs> well, we've still got our reputation, customer goodwill. Hmm. Hey. Anyway, positive thoughts. He's up at the school next. Big day. Leanna's left already. She's organised some results day brunch. Yeah, well, she's got nothing to worry about, hasn't she? Hey, how are you feeling? Sensible to let the rush die down? Yeah. I just want to miss the crowds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm usually there myself, you know, celebrating, drying tears, rejigging course options. It's probably the hardest thing about being suspended. Anyway. Yeah, I, I should let you go. I just wanted to wish you the best. And I'm um, thinking about your... <clears throat> do you want me to run you up there? A bit of moral support. What, made me look even sadder than I do already? All right, it was only a suggestion. Tell you what, get yourself a drink, sit down, and I will not mention exam results until you leave. That's a joke. It's all everyone's on about. You know what, forget it. I don't even know why I bother coming in. Oh, come on, Jake, at least get a takeout. Well, text us when you know. Uh, he's been writing to Mayor. What? None of them got through to her. The officers opened everything first, but he didn't realise. No, he didn't sink in. What does he think? She's going to fill her cell walls with pictures of him? <sighs> seemed fine when I told him. I stopped trying to work him out, to be honest. Well, look, at least today we'll give him some focus, yeah? Good or bad, he'll know what his options are and he won't have time to think about me. Morning. Ah. Hanging off the wardrobe in my dressing room. Well, we were quite athletic. <laughs> Wait, are you two... What? Look, just don't confuse Millie, OK? If you're going to be carrying on your weird relationship. I can't see that Millie has anything to do with this. I doubt it's even occurred to Millie that Grandma gets any grown-up cuddles. <sighs> oh, Grandma's full of surprises. Nice attempt of your rook to trounce my bishop. What are you rambling on about, Graham? We're playing that game, are we? OK. Right, I'm off. Hey, wait, I thought we were talking about schools. Well, I've got clinic. Mm. Well, why don't you leave Millie with me? And you can go and have a look at that Robblesfield place. Are you sure? It's a bit short notice. Just thought you might be interested in the blacksmith coming, you know, fire metal. It's all very spectacular. Blacksmiths still exist? Wow. Are you sure? Like, for an hour? Hmm? Right, we'll catch up at lunchtime, OK? OK. I promise. Sorry for being in a mood. No, I shouldn't have come back so late. I just thought I'd leave you to it. You know? No, no, it was fine. So, um, <clears throat> what did you up to? Nothing. I just wasted the time, to be honest. Why don't you have an early light later? I'll look after these two. Oh, thanks. And thanks for going out with Matty. It means a lot. Come here. Do you know what? We need to get shot at a lot of them. Just you, me... And Isaac and Kyle. Yeah. Sounds a lot, innit? Lydia had the pair of them yesterday. How often does that happen? 
Mm. Right, I need to get going. There are lambs that need tagging. Yeah, I'll give you an arm, but... No, it's all right. Nate can do it. again this evening. I'm just reminding my priority customers. Who have made one measly brew last an hour or haven't you noticed? <laughs> yeah, well, if my evening trade takes off, you'll find that we sell a cheeky yet affordable selection of alcoholic beverages. Oh, aye. And the pub knows about that, do they? Well, it's not really a worry, is it? They're short. Can I rely on your custom? I might have to cut back on Summer Club. That's how desperate it's going. Are you sure you actually really need childcare? We haven't got a job. Never let a Jimmy hear you say that. The last thing I want is little goblins all day. I mean, what's Jay actually doing? It's been ages since we've had an update. Oh, I don't know, Nick. That's what he keeps saying. He must have a plan. We've got an investor. Really? Well, why aren't I in on it? I'm a shareholder. Well, cos it's early days and, and you know, he doesn't want to jinx it. Is that it? You would tell me if you had any more intel? Yeah, of course. So, is this a smoothie with all the trimmings or just a milky tea? Nah, it's past everyone. Oh. 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 Well done. Oh. Hard work paid off. Thanks. <laughs> so we're going puppy shopping later or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. No, I've decided some new trainers instead. Well, failed. Except for food and nutrition. Well, that's something. Don't worry, all right? You can reset them all. Yeah, of course you can. Saw your Insta. Nice one. Hey, I'm so sorry. If I'd have just realised about me or picked up on the clues, and this would have ended so differently. I feel partly responsible. It's fine, miss. Who wants to be a doctor anyway? Uh, how are you getting on tracking down your dad's old mates? Did you ask your mum? She says she's wiped out anything to do with him. What about yours? Same. He did nothing for her while he was alive, so why should she help him now? So we still haven't got definite numbers for the funeral? No. Uh, I've called a few hotels, seen as the pub's out of action, but they're all charging a fortune. The decent ones do. Yeah, which dad would never go for, unless he had some scam to get out of paying. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> I'll take over on that one, then. There must be loads more options. Next. Um, songs and readings. I've made a playlist. Oh, if it's God only knows, I'll just start crying buckets again. No, it's some other vintage classics. <gasps> oh, God, I remember that. Right, he made up this ridiculous dance. He used to do it in the car on the way to Brownies in front of all my mates. <laughs> he took you to Brownies? It was mortifying. <laughs> I'd have given anything to be mortified. Just to have him show up and take me anywhere at all. Ta-da! What? This. This, Paddy. We take it outside. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Well, the rain, the toilets, the impossibly small fridge. All right, so we've got garden brollies and the lavies will be fine with a bit of plastic sheeting. We're just abandoning health and safety. There's not wrong with a bit of dust. Ignore this snowman. It's snowflakes, and if you're going to demean us, use the right logo. Lingo. Yeah, no. Eh? Hey? I've actually sold that. The buyer pulled out, there's no fish frying. Heathens. Oh, Victoria, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Please tell me now that that's for us. How else are we going to feed the hungry punters? I can't work in that. Yes, you can. You can stoop. You can pretend you're a little hobbit or something. Yes! Suck on that, Brenda! Oh! Me. Loads of people don't pass first time. I mean, I did. I was a right geek. Can't remember any of it now. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Matty. Why don't you go home and sleep off the hangover? Uh, who says I'm hungover? That tin of biscuits if you price them up again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right, later's then, and don't stress. That is right. Hey, come on, we've spoken about this. 
Of course you're going to resit your exams. Once you've smashed them retakes, it's A-levels, and then you're on to medical school just like you planned. Medical courses are the most competitive. They don't want losers. Oi, you are not a loser. Um, what did your teacher say about this pathway thingy? That's maths and English in November, then another three. It's only what Liv did, and she passed them all. I don't know. Stop pressuring me. What is there to think about, mate? College will be great for you. New mates, new teachers. Be a brand new start. Hey. Wonder how long it'd take you. Yeah? I'm not coming in. Fair enough. Boss. You checking on that sky bin? No. Love it when you're annoyed at me. Go with sexy. Oh, don't. Don't what? Just listen while I talk. Mr. Briggs, you found us. I left the jag just outside. I hope that's all right. Yeah. Blacksmiths have come up in the world. <clears throat> Millie, come meet Mr. Briggs. He runs a school called Bassett Green. Hi. Hello, Millie. That's a very smart jumper. We have lots of little girls who love ponies, too. Oh, I bet you do. Great. Millie, I'm sure Mr Briggs would like to start with a, a tour of the house. It's very big, so you might get lost, so you have to follow me. You kept Millie here under false pretenses. How are you going to explain this to Andrea and Jamie? Kids aren't exactly known for their discretion. It's just easier to present it as fait accompli. Then Jamie doesn't have to pretend to disagree. Pretend? Mm. Well, anything I support, he wants the opposite. It's a point of principle, bless him. But he is struggling to organise his own child's education. So, of course, I'm going to get involved. So? I'm listening. Now you're here. Skip the discussion, because I can guess how it goes. Last night was a mistake. It can never happen again. It can't. This is tough for you, I get it. But if being all serious makes you feel less guilty, you can do that too. No. It was a mistake. Nate, I love my husband. This would destroy him after everything we've been through. Don't you care about Amy? What we've got is amazing. No. No. Though. Don't bother. I've got one GCSE. Got to waste a year of my life catching up in some thick class. Don't need everyone telling me it doesn't matter. A year? No, I can really see how your whole world is ending. What? Other people have problems, Jacob. Really bad stuff that happens to them that throws them off course and makes them change their plans. And even though you can't see a way out, you have to to keep going because self-pity achieves nothing. It just makes you a victim and you'll end up hating yourself even more. I'm sorry. I didn't think. A few months is nothing. I know. The factory's gonna take years to recover and that's loads of pressure on you. Yeah. I didn't mean to be so insensitive. It's fine. It's just getting to me a bit more than I realise, that's all. Is there anything I can do? Come to mine for lunch. Dad's made a tuna pasta salad and I'll never eat it all. <laughs> oh, hey, Brenda. Look at this. Absolutely roaring. So don't go overboard on your evening opening just yet. I thought you were condemned. Well, a pub is more than just a building. Have you ever heard about the sphere? Probably not. Oh, uh, 
um, you three are uh, sticking with me because it's um, results day happy hour. It's made the help. Maybe. Sorry, Brenda, but we fancy a cold one. No offence. Yeah, fresh out here, isn't it? Yeah, and we've got a fridge and a wind chime. You know, outside is the new inn. We're loving it, aren't we, Jimmy? We well, certainly are. Which version you love it? Oh, yeah, mine's the plastic, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we thought we'd do something separate for Johnny and Eliza. Well, April never went to a mum's funeral. We just end up being worried about the kids, and it should be for you. I mean, we want them to say goodbye, to, you know, to understand that he's gone. I mean, it was it was different for Don because she knew she was dying. But April found the memory box really useful. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, thanks, Marlon. Hi. Uh, we're trying to get definites for my dad's funeral, you know, for the food and stuff. You are joking. Well, I wasn't going to be as blunt. I'm sorry for your loss. So tell it how it is. He stole money from poorly children. It's not his finest hour. We'll never know what was going on in his head. Apart from that, he, he was a good man. Right. Is that before he did time for being the con artist or after? I'm sorry, but I can't stand here and listen to you heaping praise on him. I'd be a hypocrite. So, come on. It's not just your exams, is it? I don't see why the prison won't let her read my letters. Where's the harm? It's to protect you, not Maya. You're not allowed to be in a relationship with her, Jacob. That's the point. I think you want to stay in love with her. Because everything you went through was so stressful and intense. We need to make it worthwhile. You're saying it wasn't real? I'm saying it gives you something to hold on to. That when you've been in and out of school, going to court, worrying about your exams, all that pain, it gives you an anchor. You don't get it at all. We've all been through it as well, Jacob. Listening to her excuses, realising how she's been manipulating the whole situation. And I know you don't see it right now, but I promise you will. You're such a lovely, kind, sensitive young man. And one day soon, you'll fall in love with a girl who's your proper equal. Brenda! You're putting my teeth on edge. Well, I just want everything to be perfect for my official opening tonight, six o'clock. You're more than welcome. I'll check my diary. I'm doing table snacks. Lovely. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Mm, all right. Mm. I, um, Priya brought Jacob back, so I came here to get some peace. Uh, had a chat with Nicola today. I thought I'd give you a heads up. I might have mentioned Kim. What? Not by name, just, you know, you had an investor. But she just kept asking and asking me, and I couldn't keep fucking her off. Oh, great. Now, if she goes blabbing to the workers, they're all going to get their hopes up. Yeah, but it's good, isn't it? Because if people think they've got their job, it might help them be patient. <sighs> you know, I would rather you just kept it to yourself, like I asked. Maybe it's best that you don't tell me anything in the future. Sorry. Hello, little one. <laughs> what, your best skirt for the, the blacksmith, did you? Uh, Tally's gone lame. We've had to reschedule. <laughs> oh. You must be the father, Eustace Briggs. Hi. Millie and I have had some great chats. She's particularly looking forward to the tennis lessons. Mum, what? Uh, Mr Briggs is from Bassett Green. Well, the private school? Mm-hmm. Which I must pay a flying visit to now. Got the painters in doing the annual refurb. I'll be in touch about my daughter's wedding. I'm sure that the horse-drawn gig will clinch it. Excellent. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. His pride's been hurt. I'll have a word with him and he's calmed down. We can't force him to retake. But he was predicted good grades last year. Proper boy genius. Nah, we were never that. 
Matt the nose. Hey, you've done all right. You're a businessman. I'm a shopkeeper. Mr Morrison of Morrison's used to sell eggs in Bradford. I just know that randomly. I didn't need a degree. Are you suggesting Jacob sets his sights on running a chain of supermarkets? Why not? I'm just saying. Uni is not the be-all and end-all. Yeah, but the poor lad shouldn't have to give up on his dreams. Eric's right. Shouldn't knock ourselves out over this. Let's just let the dust settle and he'll know what to do. No, he's not got mayor in his ear. I'm talking to you like an adult. It's good for you to have someone outside of the family to give it to you straight. Right. I think you need to get out there and meet a new special person. And not live because she's too connected to all the mayor stuff, but I don't know, just meet someone new, be friends, take it slowly. And you'll soon see what you've been missing out on. A real relationship that isn't about hiding and cheating and lying to everyone. You're a catch, Jacob. And any girl will be lucky to have you. You hypocrite. Criticising Maya for cheating, then you're doing this. Coming on to me. That's why you invited me round. Well, guess what? I'm not interested, so don't touch me. Stay with us on ITV. We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.